How's it going guys? My name is Thomas Blakemore, I teach travel and sometimes tribe and this is a travel video. If you're new around here, I make a range of teaching and travelling videos so if you feel like you want to click into my channel and see those, you can definitely subscribe down in whatever corner it is and yeah, I appreciate that. So I reached the end of the week last week and it was a really good but long and busy stressful week of school and I realised that I hadn't booked to go anywhere. I like to go places during the half terms and I was laying in bed, it was 8 o'clock on the day before and just sort of decided, right, I'm just going to book. So I decided, flick through Skyscanner as I always do to find cheap flights and book to go to Lebanon. Lebanon was coming up as the cheapest place to go to. So booked it, really excited, started searching through different places that I could go to, things to do and yeah, decided to go out, enjoy my day convert money and all those sorts of things and then I receive a text from someone who was already here saying yeah you might want to check Beirut and see what's happening so as you do I went onto Instagram went into hashtag Beirut and started scrolling through and noticed loads and loads of different protests and immediately just went oh no but I thought it'll be okay and yeah, just continued on with my day and then obviously spent the rest of the day just completely overthinking it. So got back and then sort of ummed and ah about whether I was going to go. So just continued the whole overthinking process until the next morning. Now the next morning was when I was meant to be going and over the night time things got a little bit violent, there were fires, so I sort of decided in my head that yeah I wasn't going to go and UAE also issued, issued out a, a don't fly to Lebanon type of thing and yeah so that was at sort of 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10.30 I was like oh you know what I'm sure it's going to be fine now and uh, so I arrived in Lebanon and uh, when I arrived in Lebanon, the first thing that I spotted out the window was a, a big fire uh, coming from Lebanon somewhere and a big black smoke and I'm guessing it was tires or rubbish. Got there, sort of expecting the worst when I got into the airport, however we were greeted by absolutely lovely people. When you go through the uh, border control, border control can sometimes be quite moody. I know that Claire who was travelling with me, uh, she stopped and the person who she, she was speaking to was really lovely he just genuinely couldn't apologize more just for he was saying oh you guys need to, to come back which is sort of a bad sign when it's nicer and yeah just genuinely a lovely person we got out got into a cream and just drove down to our hotel and it was pretty straightforward there were blocks on the roads we noticed that and we, we took a lot of back routes and it was it was generally quite okay though because it was the morning got sort of the evening time checked into the hotel all those sorts of things and things were, were generally normal we took a walk down by what's it called pigeon rock or something along those lines and that was uh, beautiful sort of sunset but we also saw some of the uh, protesters driving along it was like a loud racket and people had <laughs> peace signs if you don't really know there's a lot of things in the news at the moment about a, a WhatsApp tax. This isn't a political video, this is just my experience of Lebanon. And there's CNN was saying that they've just rioting because there's a, a WhatsApp tax that you've got to pay 20p or something along those lines for a call. However, that's not true. There's a lot of other little bits and pieces that are going on that have sort of toppled down the Jenga tower, if you like. That's why people are protesting. We, they want the uh, president to be out. But generally, it was it was peaceful. The people were lovely, and they were uh, holding peace signs. But as a tourist, I wasn't really sure. Like, do I do I join in and put out the, the peace signs? And I don't I don't know. So after that, we went back to the hotel, and it was the next day. And to be honest, the next day was was fine. It was completely fine. And um, we had a really nice day. The day started at Jaita's Grotto. Jaita's Grotto at the moment, and this is our first proper day here. Right where? Jetta's Grotto? I thought it's that not called Jetta's Grotto. It's called Jaita. Jaita. Grotto. Jaita Grotto. So we're at Jaita Grotto today, and this is Do our first country, proper day right? here. Yeah, Lebanon. Okay. And yeah, it's, it's, it's good. We're in a cable car at the moment, and uh, it was about 18,000, which I think is about 100 dirham or 20 pound ish each. And that includes like a cable car train ride and uh, the actual entrance. I'm From Jaita's Grotto we took a cable car up into the first floor of the Jaita's Grotto, had a little look around there. After that took a train 
down from Jaita's Grotto top level to the bottom level and it was really quite beautiful. We were really nice and greeted with some lovely people who then let us use their hotspot to book another Uber to go to uh, Lady of Lebanon in Harissa and that was phenomenal and the views were insane, Just, there's no other word for it. Uh, we had a little look around, went into the, the little chapel church type thing that was there and really enjoyed the views. So then from there we took another Uber Kareem from there to Byblos. I'm hoping I'm saying it right. And it was then that there started to be quite a bit of traffic and the normal route took twice as long and we had a little look around Byblos and Byblos was really, really nice, really enjoyed that. From there we then had to come back to our hotel. We decided to leave a little bit early but even though we left early there was a lot of traffic. So I guess the reason why you guys might be watching this video is why I left early. And to be honest, it's not a major reason. I'm not in any danger, I feel safe, the people are lovely, but I guess the, the person at Border Patrol was right. I want to experience Lebanon when it's at peace and when you can really get to, to experience it properly. So I feel like because of the traffic, I don't know whether I'm going to go to somewhere further out in Lebanon and then get stuck there, which won't be ideal, and missing flights and all those sorts of things. And at the same time, a lot of places are closed, which isn't always good because people are, you know, revolting, protesting, and I get it. But as a tourist, it's, it's a little bit harder. So I've decided to, to book a flight earlier home just so that I can, I don't know, spend the rest of my holidays in Dubai. Lebanon, you are genuinely a beautiful country and the people make it even more so. I really enjoyed my time here for the most part, but I understand that you have things that are going on. I really, really hope that you do get them sorted because it's, it's what you guys deserve. All the best guys, it doesn't feel right to do the whole like, share, all that business, so we'll leave that out, but hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a nice holidays or whatever you're up to at the moment. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one guys. I'm out.